Pie shop and neighboring ice cream parlor robbed. It happened last night in University Heights when elementary school is nearby. Our Jamie Chambers joins us from that part of town with the details tonight. Well, workers this evening are boarding up two doors that were smashed into by a group of burglars who made it inside, risking everything, but in the end, got away with nothing. At first blush, everything looks normal at the Stella Jeans handmade ice cream shop, but then you realize the glass in the front door is missing. And it's the same thing for the Pop Pie Company. The damage to these two businesses were the handiwork of what would be four burglars working in the middle of the night with less than sweet intentions. It's really heartbreaking because it's such a great business. Yeah, it's, it's real disappointing. I'm surprised somebody didn't see anything. Yeah, it's right on the main intersection here. The four alleged would-be thieves might have had an even worse night than the owners of the Pop Pie Co. or Stella Jeans Ice Cream when they saw the sign hanging on the back of the wall for all to see. I really am not sure what anyone was after for Stella Jeans, at least, unless they didn't see through the window that there's a sign saying no cash that's been there forever. And with no cash loss, the doors reopened and the neighborhood came back in full force demanding their favorite flavors. Vanilla and strawberry. Vanilla and milk and cookies. As for the Pop Pie Company. I don't know what you'd get out of a store like this. It's a real shame. But they'll recover, you know, and it's a great place. So, you know, there's usually a line out of the ice cream store. We live two, three blocks away, but it's not really going to make me any more anxious about living in the neighborhood. The Pop Pie Company is currently expanding to Pacific Beach, and workers tell me that they want everyone to understand that they carry little to no cash on hand. That's the very latest from University Heights. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.